Good day, good day, good day, everybody. Brian here on apps.net. Uh, this is a preview, preview sample test for uh, Substack. My Substack's growing, so I, told, I thought I'd show you the platform I use for live trading. Eventually, this will be moved over to um, to uh, Trading View. But currently, this is how I do it: is um, We've got here stocks and ETFs. These are what I currently run. Uh, some of them will trade. The markets are down, but you can see still uh, over the last uh, couple hours. So we're going all the way back. This is now MotoWave since June. We have certain stocks that are doing really well despite the down markets of, let's say, Big Tech, those Magnificent Seven. You can see some of these stocks are holding pretty strong. So we got uh, three six, nine, nine, comp nine stocks to choose from here. Some of them are active. I got a course on how I do this, but as I said, I'm gonna update it with MotorWave, or sorry, with uh, TradingView, but for now, this is how I do it, live trading. So you can see here, I got this company called SYNH. We have a strategy uh, live running right now uh, using the MACD, uh, it's right here, the MACD, uh, Reversing ATR, trailing stop. I find two hour time frame works really good. So that's what I'm using. You can see here's your buy and sell signals, the markers here. Uh, we also have here uh, NOV, uh, NOV. You can probably look these up yourselves. Most of the time you don't really care about the company itself. Um, what you care about is the price action. And you can see this is a nice move here. It's gone up 14 to $20 approximately. So these are a lot of companies you may not know about. Uh, right here, this like right now, we've had a very uh, very negative market for the last few weeks with uh, U.S. Uh, government credit worthy is getting cut and there's gonna be more to come. So right now, uh, these are the performing stocks. These are the best performing stocks been filtered out by sector. You've seen a lot of my videos on the sector date, date, uh, spreadsheet I have. Out of that comes these stocks that perform really well. Now, out of those stocks, you want low volatility stocks, meaning you don't get stocks with crazy drawdowns. Um, like, let me show you get some good ones. Uh, maybe, let's say Tesla. I'm gonna just show you that. Again, I'm running this on Linux for those that are curious. I prefer to do everything on Linux as much as possible, uh, just due to uh, you know telemetry on a lot of the different um, operating system like that, Windows and your mobile, Android, and and uh, the worst one is Apple with the Mac OS. Um, so anyways, just to let you know, I'm using also Mint, Linux Mint is the distribution, it's open source, and uh, works pretty good. You can see here as I was leading into your this solid decline with Tesla, uh, let me pull up another one maybe uh, maybe NVIDIA because we had a really good news story for NVIDIA yesterday and uh, that moved to think something like five or six percent and that was just one story from JP Morgan and otherwise that, that company would have declined since so you just saw Tesla so here's uh, NVIDIA um, again similar pattern that's a two-hour time frame but let me just show you the daily here um, so you can see here the gapping and then boom 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 but you can see all the red uh, markers in here as well that one's not too bad actually um, but let me pull up another one maybe uh, Google let's just say um, but the point is is that we've got s companies that are doing very well out there and you can see how Google's gone flat compared to my last company I showed you nice momentum now the question is will this momentum continue that's the hard part but you can still capture the tail end of these you know from here to here from here to here and so on and so forth um, with automated trading there's another one PDCO this one's flat um, but the only reason I keep this because it's still coming up as one of my better companies you can see right there there's a sell so if it does continue to move up you might get a buy entry the problem is, is that will it get some momentum behind it to continue pushing up the price on the on your next buy. Uh, as I've shown in TradingView, there are some scripts, uh, strategies you can use to kind of better filter that. 
Um, so once that gets built out, then I'll definitely move towards that. Um, currently, my broker is Interactive Brokers as well, just so you know. Here's another company that does very well. So one thing I like about this strategy, just this is a, a more of an insider. Now that I see this, I'm going to activate it. And that's all you're really doing is just loading in your strategy for, this is again, MotoWave, you load it in, pops up, up comes the parameters, uh, all of these. These are custom coded by myself. Um, but the name of the game is, as you can see, that these two lines are, uh, are, up, are moving. Once you get that cross there, that's your next buy. So this is a perfect company to buy into because you can see the uh, momentum over the last two hours. That's six hours has been building. So we might get a nice profitable trade here. Um, and that's the sort of thing I like about this strategy um, because the market's been fairly flat or volatile. Um, you can take on some losses. Here's another company we all know about. If you're like me, I mentioned already, Interactive Brokers as a stock. Same idea right here. So the question is, will this continue? This trend, this momentum trend, we, we could run into this kind of situation, but it's been a nice little stock. And the beautiful thing about this stock, there's no crazy whipsaws as I've shown you with Tesla. Uh, let's see what Google's doing. Yeah, Google's got a fairly steep drawdown. And when you compare the same type of time frame to a lot of these stocks, these smaller stocks, you're not getting those crazy drawdowns. You might get lucky and get one of these that starts an, an early breakout and may continue. So, we, you know, this, this, this NHC could continue with a breakout for the next few days as the momentum builds. And you're going from 58 to $69. Now, will that continue? continue looking at the market, um, you can definitely uh, verify that by using fundamental data on their latest forward guidance uh, to see what the company feels about their outcome, uh, their outlook. So if it's building, these are how you find your winning stocks. Again, with Interactive Brokers, just nice trend up. Uh, no, no, very, very few drawdowns compared to, as again, compared to Google. Um, and then it goes flat. And here's another big drawdown as well. You don't want to be part of those stocks. I mean, it's fine to be, you know, when you get a big story like the AI and NVIDIA and the rest of them drive up. At some point they will uh, cool off, which they're doing now. But when you also look at... Um, these, these are the more, I guess, call it contra contrarian stocks. They're doing very well. And as I said, they have very low volatility. And that's what you want. Because the low volatility will protect you from the extreme drawdowns. So here's another one, CMCA. These are beautiful stock plays. These are beautiful trend lines that you won't get anywhere else. Um, that's because of my Python scripts. Find these by, again, going into um, the best performing stock sectors um, built around each month and it resets at the beginning of each month so we're already halfway in August and you you know when you look at the news of the markets you think there's calamity but yet we've got nine companies here that are moving up really nice so you see right here you can see there's gonna be a sell signal coming up so this would be another good one to buy into you got uh, just just looking at that marker there we can expect a sell signal but the danger is will that continue to drive up and at any point this these rallies can can dry up and either go flat or or go into a crazy with uh, drawdown like here with google and these are the big companies continuing along we're looking at bj as well this is bj's warehouse i believe and again you see this consolidating here so you may eke out some profit but we can expect some a buy signal if not, then if the markets do uh, move down, then you'll see these lines draw down. And you won't get your buy. Or you may get a buy or an entry, and then it still continues down. So there's some of that danger where you got to go, well, do I want to trade today or not trade? You know. So right now, you can see this is active, not deactivated. So this is running. And these are some of the risks you need to take to get some profit. It's not like well, the one I just showed you, I believe this one here, NHC. Because the last three times, two bar, hour bars, six hours, it's a very strong uh, buy momentum there. And hopefully it continues and you'll be able to get 
that automated entry and then be able to continue to get um, a nice positive return after your entry. Um, so let's go over here, ICLR. This is what you like to see. These could be great, great buy and hold for the month or for the last week. You know, look, you're going from this, this stock here, um, I'm not gonna buy into a 256, but still, if you have the risk tolerance, you're going here from, uh, let's say right here, May 31st, from 200 to 256. So that stock right there is still not affected by the Magnificent Seven drawdowns, but meanwhile, that momentum still builds. When I did my Seeking Alpha, I had some stocks that were clearly winners, even when the extremes the markets were down last year. These are sort of win potential winners that will continue to move up. And even no matter what the markets do, may drop. Uh, th these 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 breakouts, these kind of rallies may continue regardless because they're, they're well managed or in a, they're in a good industry or whatever. So here's another good one. This one's extremely volatile. Um, and uh, it did try to trade. I'm going to deactivate it. It's these drawdowns you want to stay away from. I was only attracted by these strong upswings, but uh, you can see the danger here on the downswings as well. So I'll actually close that out. So that's pretty well that. Um, and uh, I will do another video on the CFDs and Forex to show how I do that.